Hello, my name is Ana Moro Santos. I am a professor of the Department of Mathematics of uh, Instituto Superior Tecnico. Uh, normally, I teach uh, undergraduate students at uh, topics, at maths courses, uh, in topics like linear algebra, vector calculus, uh, math mathematical analysis, and uh, on average, I have like two, three hundred uh, students each semester. So I also do research uh, on functional analysis and operator theory. Uh, and I am a member of a research unit uh, called CAFL. This is the uh, research unit of the same institute. And uh, online assessment and the learning are also uh, some uh, topics uh, that I can include in my research. Technico is the largest uh, school of engineering, science and technology of Portugal and has a good reputation. Very recently, uh, the school board decided to form, to go forward MOOCs and to form a team uh, for coordinating the design and producing of uh, these courses. And there I am, a coordinator of this team. As part of this work, uh, I and my colleagues uh, from Institute of Education and from University Lusíada from Portugal we started to formulate guidelines uh, of good practices for doing this kind of online courses in general and uh, good practices for uh, design and producing MOOC videos in particular. So first, uh, we recognize the fact that the video is a key pillar of the digital literacy and uh, we also believe that it can bring uh, many benefits to the online on, uh, learning experience when, of course, it's uh, well designed and produced. In the present paper, uh, we analyze and we show some results uh, based on a cinematics uh, analysis, uh, a very well known approach uh, for cinema. Uh, done in full uh, detail for uh, 46 uh, videos uh, from 31 MOOCs and uh, from four well-known platforms. Our goal is uh, to propose uh, the design and production of video MOOCs uh, that can enhance the learning experience of a MOOC. These conclusions are part of a more global uh, project on uh, good practices that uh, we formulate uh, in a format of uh, guidelines uh, for MOOCs in STEM areas. So we are talking about MOOCs uh, in STEM areas uh, that, can, that must include a schedule to orientation through uh, weekly activities, to have communication channels to inform the participants, these online courses uh, must run at most seven, week, eight weeks and uh, we strongly recommend uh, four or five weeks. So traditional uh, expository or tutorial uh, classes are uh, translated uh, into short uh, videos, in a sequ sequence of short videos, complemented with uh, online quizzes, uh, both for self-assessment and for assessment. And uh, each course must include a discussion forum when students can put their questions and uh, get feedback from the staff. So for, from dedicated uh, mentors and professors and teachers. Saying this, uh, we, are, we, strongly we strongly believe uh, that the pre-production phase of a MOOC is uh, very connected to the success of it. In this paper, uh, we came with the following uh, principles and recommendations. Short, dynamic videos with a particular emphasis on personalized and focused contents. The teasers uh, should have a uh, maximum duration of two, three minutes. The introductory and expository uh, videos should average from nine to 11 minutes and tutorial videos should not exceed the seven minutes. All considered uh, classes of videos 
teasers, uh, introductory, uh, expository tutorials must have at least three uh, focus of interest. For instance, uh, teacher, teacher plus slide, uh, graphics, computer animations, all these with the dynamic uh, shot sequences in order to attract the participants' attention. It is very important to take care of technical aspects. Good audio, good image and good slides. And finally, what works always, the teacher must look the eyes in the camera and talk with conviction. In our short experience of designing and producing MOOCs, uh, one of the main difficulties uh, that we found is to keep strict to the spirit of the guidelines. Teachers and uh, university professors tend to be a little bit insensitive to this format. For them, it's very difficult to keep short and focused. Um, they are more used and familiar with uh, one or more hour of lectures. Uh, for instance, they are used to explain one topic from different points of view or they are used to relate topics in one lecture. For the videos, all the details count. Audible voice, eye contact uh, through the camera, slides with less information, uh, small writing, uh, good graphics and one content at a time. Finally, uh, we want to put you some questions. First, what are your experiences with producing videos with teachers, professors that are not used to this format? Second, how can MOOC design and producing teams help teachers and professors in this direction? Third, what are the strategies that can work in this direction. Thank you for your attention and please join us in the discussion forum.